it's the 4th of May and I'm down in Donegal Street in the centre of town and this is student land Mr Biden opened one of the uh, student blocks just round the corner to the left and there's been a bit of street art going on here because uh, the hit the north Arts Festival has been on and uh, it attracted so many uh, street artists worldwide and I'm down this morning to try and uh, see some of the new pieces uh, invariably whenever somebody picks up new pieces they paint over old pieces well not old Oh, not old pieces. They paint over pieces that are just only a year old. Uh, but that's what happens. You know, that's the, that's the risk I take. Uh, these walls are for everybody. So this is a, a nice uh, double uh, fronted piece here. Don't know who this really is or was, but it's pretty good. This is my kind of street art. Not into the avant-garde type stuff so much, but I can recognise that it's pretty good. And I was looking for a tag name there and I found it. It's right up here. You can hardly see it. What's Goreski? Don't know. And there's another nice piece here. And I don't think I've ever videoed this before. So I reckon that this is new as well. And AC23, hi. Huh? It is new. Well, this is where I am. piece over here and I've videoed before in behind the tree unfortunately but that's the way it goes and then opposite Donegal Street Congregationalist Congregational Church now called Redeemer Central I'd love to get into this place but uh, it's highly unlikely because it's shut 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 during the week which is a shame anyway some nice uh, decorative pieces there, I have to say. Like that. Not St. Anne's Cathedral in front of me. I'm in behind uh, Belfast Central Library. A uh, historic building, I've been in it. I've videoed inside it. And I'm in, I think it's Union Street. And there's one or two more nice pieces here. So well, many good pieces. Pa <laughs> There's so many good pieces. Uh, this place is an absolute mecca for street art, and it's all down to Hit the North uh, Street Art Festival. So if you like street art, come down here and check this place out for yourself. I haven't even hit the main area. Uh, graphic twenty three. I haven't hit the main area, which is just round the corner. Look at this. Looks like a turn. That's got a chick in there. You can see the chick. Not really good. I don't know whether this actually happens in real life or not. Well, it's uh, by... Hey, Palwal 23. These are all new pieces up round here. I'm just leaving out the bits that I don't particularly like. The, the pieces. Most of them are good, I guess. 
It's really a feeling of isolation with this one. Who's, who's done this one? These uh, tag names I just don't recognise at all. Um, the uh, Hit the North Street Art Festival attracted new, well, a lot of new street artists uh, from, you know, worldwide. Um, you know, coming from South Africa and, and uh, there's noise. Videoed that, maybe this before, I can't remember. Uh, he's 75 street artists from all over the place. Uh, came in and did their thing on, on these uh, these walls. And I've flew with this guy before. He does sort of like a a cubist type approach. It's wrong. I like this. That's good. This guy's a real artist. I'm not saying the other ones aren't. That's really good. And then there's, there's massive big ones up on the far end here. I mean, look at that. Thank goodness. Where would it begin? I might have fitted this one before, I'm not too sure, it's a sort of a composite. Of a, several different faces superimposed onto each other. I'm going back for the bike and the park her up around here beside the sunflower. I've seen the same man in Donegal Street and I've seen this guy he uses sort of angles it's very angular he has several pieces around the city and the trouble is yes this is this, the heartland of, of the street art but you know you, you could you could be walking five six streets away and suddenly you come across an isolated piece of street art out in its own and if you don't walk the streets and if you don't walk the back streets then you're not going to see it but this is the main area Shot dead in Derry, Stroke Lock in Derry, Lyra McKee, and that one has been left. Look at, look at the horse, and the paint's dropped on, on the, the floor. I, I think that's good. Very sci fi Not really impressed with that. You already have it. I've got something. But whether I've got it, who knows? And there's a, a big a big lion. And sweetheart street art. Yeah, it's a big nail. And this is <laughs> this is Danny Simpson. Uh, I've come across Danny Simpson many times. Their work is, is all over Belfast. I'm not really excited by this. Well, this is good. <laughs> this is very good. For people learning to drive. Well, who's, done, who's done this? That's best to us. Don't think much of your name, but that, or your tag name, but that's, that's, that's all right. 
and here's the uh, angry Dan. <laughs> angry Dan. That's brilliant. Maybe I should really have my, my channel, Angry Tom, because some of my videos are, are uh, grumpy old man videos. This is novice. That's fair enough. Uh, don't mind that. This is, I like this, Gonzilla Romances. Look out Belfast, the mightiest menace of them all is coming your way. This is not approved by Comics Authority. Do not panic. The authorities are in complete control. <laughs> yes, I like that. Monsters on a love rampage. Yeah, like that. Getting some more past ones here. There's so much to see here. Very surreal one. There, with a cormorant's head. Surfer Pick. Dedicated to the memory of John Madden, BCB. Uh, and it's done by John Dinon Kiri. I think. Must look up and see who John Martin was. Holly Pereira. Another Trey Modern type one. And a bit of a graffiti mix in this. Uh, John Madden BCB uh, Tribute UPC TDA So maybe it was different people involved in that one This is, this is good stuff Who's this? Killen's Art Don't know if I've come across Killen's Art before I like this too. Something about Sam. Me, Melise. Megalise. Sorry, me. There's another one. Carly Wright, 146. Um, my whack pig at pigment space. Magic mushrooms, perhaps. So all at Art 42. In memory of our grace, support tree. B N five artists. It's a basic quality. And a banana has been stuck to it. That's brilliant. I'm not going to touch it. Let's fall off. Said design. And there's bananas and apples and everything. I've seen something like this before. Uh, pure art and NS, MSC, Nero Shares and Amic was probably involved with this. He's about the place. And I don't know if, if they all work together. 
Okay, let's see what else is up the top end. Well, I should make this one say the uh, sunflower. Say the fantasy uh, piece. Closing up shop. Ah, oh, I'm I'll, I'll kind of have five seconds here to uh -huh. get get these. Good man. And there's a lot of pieces down the bottom end here. Come and see this for yourself. Absolutely fantastic. I've had my daughter to hell. I said it was a skin. And sometimes you have to stand far away from these. Actually, make make head and or tail of them. A lot of, a lot of graffiti. And there's street art here everywhere you look. I hit the Norris 23. There's a piece over here. And I didn't, didn't even see. I'm not even sure what it is, that big pin. Well, there's the two hands with, with the arrows coming through. Alright? You're alright. <laughs> Look at this. Are the frogs or something? I'm not sure. And that, those sweetie, that sweetie mural on the far side there, that's been up. I've followed it before. But there's a mile. Not good. Where's that uh, a pal fall again? I like that. But that's funny. And the street art just goes on and on here. Most of the iconic pieces have been left, but Smaller pieces have been painted over. And that piece there goes by a Colombian guy, and that's been left. Thankfully, because it's. And I'm on North Street now. I have to say it's sort of a run down street. But this is a uh, street art night as well. Sure, what it says, or Belfast, something or other. Let's see if I can get across the street and get it. There's a red bus, a tourist bus. What does it say? Belfast. Stories, ah, Belfast stories. Go to Delgay. And a guy, a guy with a, a pussycat's head. You gotta love these. Thank you. Good stuff.
And uh, the, the eyes, the frog spawn eyes, has been here for some time. And that one beside it as well. Look at the eggs here. There's such talent here. Almost good real from a distance. Yes, I'm at the back of the city hall and I'm, uh, the city hall is just down there where the tour buses are into the right and I'm on James Street South and this is the new Grand Central Hotel where it uh, just goes up a wee while a bit. Uh, this is where President Joe Biden stayed for his fleeting trip to Belfast. Was he here for seven hours or so? I don't know. Well, it certainly cost a queen of money. Anyway, just down this street is this uh, fabulous new piece of street art. I'm going to show you now, and here it is. It's this new piece of street art by uh, a, a, a single person or was it a group of people in a compilation by Gift Egg and apparently they won some uh, prestigious uh, street art award and this was their uh, prize uh, for doing so and they, they uh, were given the opportunity to do this piece of street art and it's phenomenal. It's brilliant. <laughs> and the wee girl there smiling at me, good for you. <laughs> Keep her lit. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Right, I'm off before that wee girl hits me over the head. Before we go to emphasize that street art is all over the place in Belfast if you care to look. And it's non-sectarian. You know, this is what our electric boxes have been treated to. And it's much better than dull, drab, old green. At least they think so anyway. Right, I'm away.